Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. It's time for a weekly track roundup. My thoughts, my opinions, my feelings on a bunch of tracks that have just dropped. Uh, whether I loved them or hated them or felt somewhere in between, they're all linked down below so you can check them out for yourself. That is the deal. Also linked down below, besides just the tracks and stuff, uh, is our Turntable Lab link. If you buy some records, some vinyl, some anything using that link, we get kickback from it, some kickback from it. Uh, also our Patreon page, if you want to support us and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process, that would be cool too. Our YouTube Shorts page, where you get the awesome, amazing short form content that we drop on a regular basis, and of course, our re uh, re revamped, revamped, re 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 revamped uh, website with a bustling news section uh, is linked down below too. Cool, awesome, thank you. Mm, check it all out. All right. Well, worst tracks of the week. We have a handful of those. They are as follows. Uh, we have a new one from Netspend, uh, basically big up and comer in the rap underground, if to you underground means uh, sounds like Playboy Cardi. Uh, in a word, this is lazy. This is basically the definition of a lazy, uh, very mid average, distorted cycling rage style production with uh, forgettable flows, uh, forgettable vocal inflections and timbre. Um, not a whole lot to it, lyrically or aesthetically. Uh, it's uh, very derivative. We'll leave it there. All right. Also, a new KSI track featuring Trippy Red, a song that is so obnoxious in terms of its lyrics and forced melodic flows that I didn't even stick around for the trippy red part. This is uh, pretty dismal by KSI's usual standards. Uh, a lot of people seem to not really be vibing with it, and I can kind of see why. He, he's he's done better, frankly. He, he's done better. Um, we also have a new one from Jaden, who is also trying his best to uh, keep up with the rage wave with this uh, distorted little track D-U-M-B, uh, which is actually kind of dumb. I, I feel stupider having listened to it. Um, it really is obnoxious, and I have no idea where Jaden gets off commenting on anyone's intelligence, frankly. Uh, we have a new one from Ian end up gone. Uh, yeah, this sucks. This is terrible. Um, Ian, once again, is uh, uh, just a trend chaser, a um, wave rider with no real personality or style or anything outside of just looking and being like a regular ass white guy um, who uh, wishes he was Playboy Cardi. Uh, it's very basic. It's very plain. It's very average. Uh, musically, there's absolutely nothing special about it. And in fact, I would say this is actually one of the worst beats he's ever hopped on to. Like, this is like literally some basic ass preset shit. What is this? Especially that weird synth upright bass. It sounds awful. My guy is not even picking good production. Like, if you're going to be so mid that the entire draw of the song is the beat, at least pick a good beat. But Ian fails to do even that. So what is even the appeal of music in this lane at this point? The lyrics suck. The flows suck. The vocals suck. The mixes are trash. And now you're telling me the beats are going to be shit too? Like, is all of it going to be shit? It's just going to be multiple layers of shit, a shit lasagna? Okay. All right. Let's move on. All right. Meh. Uh, the tracks I was basically... On the fence with, um, they're not blowing me away, but they're not terrible either. They are as follows. Uh, bam, we have a new one from Rachel Chinariri with Cat Burns in the mix. It's a you know nice little kind of indie rock ballad type song, but the, the guitars are a little harsh. I don't know. I feel like the vocals are there and the tune is there, but the production is just kind of okay. Um, I wish uh, you know Rachel's uh, instrumentals took on a more adventurous direction or something. I, I, I feel like something's kind of missing. Um, moving on from there, Michael Kiwanuka has a new track out, The Rest of Me. Uh, it's a very soulful, kind of throwback, almost 70s style singer-songwriter cut. It's pretty while it's on, for sure, uh, but uh, I, I would say the tune is not necessarily sticking with me or anything like that, but it's it's got a vibe to it. It's got a vibe, and passionate vocals as well. Michael's uh, usually killing it on the vocal end, for sure. Uh, moving on from there, next we have a new one from Phineas, who continues to tease toward his new full-length LP, Lotus Eater is the name of this track. Uh, again, like some of the other teasers he has given us so far, I feel like the tune is there, but production-wise, it's just not 
uh, super interesting. It just comes across plain, even if the vocal melodies I think are uh, kind of slapping. I just wish the production was a bit more adventurous. Um, we also have a new one over here from uh, ASAP Ferg with Future in the mix. So I, I, I actually think Future uh, sort of goes above and beyond, at least by his usual standards lyrically on this track. Ferg is not too bad either. I love his like, you know, kind of almost sung little background vocals. Um, it's, it's really Mike will made its beat that I think kind of holds the song back. Um, I think this is actually one of his most average pieces of production in a long time. Like what does the Mike will made it name even mean if you're getting beats as bland as this moving on? Uh, we have a new one over here from Cochise linked up with Amine for this uh, new track nasty over here. While this isn't necessarily like my favorite kind of vibe or style or anything like that. I think Amine brings a lot to, uh, you know, this kind of super distorted hype rage type of track. And the refrains are definitely kind of sticky. It's just kind of grating after a while and I'll leave it there. All right. We also have a cheek face who, uh, has a track over here titled flies that feels like maybe a bit of a leftover from their last album. Uh, not one of their best singles for sure. I kind of feel like they're uh, painting themselves a little bit in a corner, uh, vocally and melodically. It just kind of feels like we're getting that usual cheek face formula. Um, if I could put it bluntly and, and they're not necessarily giving us anything that's, um, uh, you know, I, I guess top tier uh, with that formula. This feels like, again, a pretty average track for for the band at this point uh, with their combination of indie rock and kind of 90s dork pop rock and spoken word and so on and so forth. All right, moving on from there, uh, we have a Brie Runway with a Too Bad Gals new banger with uh, some almost like Sophie inspired production, uh, really badass vocals. I just wish it was longer. It's kind of short. It really could use a feature or another verse or a something. It's just a tad too brief, but I do think it is a, uh, one of Bree's heaviest, darkest, and uh, again, most uh, uh, badass tracks ever. I just wish there was more to it. Uh, we also have one from uh, an up and coming artist who goes by the name of Two Hollis. Uh, gold is the name of this new track. Now, I, I feel like as far as, again, stuff that's going in this hyper-distorted trap, auto-tuned, rage-type direction, uh, this is bringing together a few more different influences. Like, th there does genuinely seem to be, like, some hard style or, like, noise pop or even, like, emo vibes kind of creeping into this track a little bit. And while it's not necessarily blowing me away, there's like definitely some artistic merit to what's going on here. The vocal melodies are more coherent too. It seems like there's actually some kind of conception of, of something, you know, uh, greater than your average everyday uh, Cardi ripoff going on here. Um, so I don't know. I'm definitely going to be looking into more of what this uh, artist does as more tracks roll out for sure. I'm intrigued, not blown away, but certainly intrigued. Uh, best tracks of the week. We have a handful of those. They are as follows. Uh, one new one from the weather station. They have a new record on the way. The first taste of this upcoming album, uh, neon signs is like, if you had a young, slightly less angsty Fiona Apple fronting one of those, like uh, somewhat orchestral, you know, multi-member indie outfits or something like that. And I mean that in the best way possible. It's a very pretty, very captivating song. Uh, the band has handed over here and I've, I've never been a big weather station, uh, guy. I was definitely impressed with this track neon signs again, for sure. All right, moving on from there, Mount Erie, Phil Elvrum has given us a, another track from this, uh, very fat, very gigantic, uh, like 30 song full length album that is uh, on the way very soon. I saw another bird is the name of the track. I uh, love the ending lyrically, how it just like kind of cuts off with uh, the, the final statement that Phil makes on the track. It's got some heavy guitars, interesting progressions. It's almost like a little Weezer esque at points. I'm messing with it. It's uh, uh, definitely an interesting track from Phil and, and a bit joyous and upbeat for him. It kind of sounds like he's in a very positive, almost like bright era of his sound of his career. I'll leave it there. All right. We have uh, Maruha who's come through with a new track. The band's usual blend of art rock and punk and jazz and post-rock is coming back around again with some intense, insane saxes, great riffs, fiery lead vocals, uh, break the tension, 
Again, name of the track, a fiery single. It's passionate. It's explosive. Uh, the band continues to kick ass and uh, really looking forward to uh, what they have coming out in the future, considering like everything they have put out so far, uh, even including this, you know, new random album of like roughly recorded jams is, has been very impressive to a, a lot of fans who've been, who've been following them up until this point on their band camp, which we'll link you to that band camp down below. Uh, so you could check that out as well. So moving on from there, uh, we also have Machine Girl, who has been putting out some heat in the lead up to uh, the new album that is uh, dropping very soon. Psychic Attack, I believe, is the closing track uh, to the record, as well as the latest single. I, I recall hearing this track, if I remember correctly, played live when I saw Machine Girl open up for 100 Gex. It was, it was either this song or something that sounded very much like it. And it was like this a really speedy, intense fusion of digital hardcore and rock and trance and the synths were insane. The vocal switch ups were insane. There's just so many great progressions to the track, but it's super catchy as well. It's just controlled chaos all the fucking way. Um, and again, super uh, just manic, super digital, uh, super kind of, uh, you know, almost like rock oriented and inspired. It's, it's really raw, but uh, methodically assembled. I'll say that. All right, um, I want to shout out at least one track from this uh, new EP from Howard and Murray and Frost Children, which is like the most insane, fucking unexpected, like how the hell did this collaboration happen? Uh, <laughs> Soul Kiss is the name of the EP, but like what I've been hearing from it so far has been absolutely freaking fire. Uh, Supernatural is the name of... Uh, this track and uh you know it, it's it's like uh frost children has gone back a little bit to their kind of more abrasive electro clash sound uh which i've enjoyed uh but they have Harun murray in the mix who is very versatile vocally and you know brings some melodic lines brings some very gruff and aggressive vocal lines too it's absolutely insane and um i'm loving uh the crossover that's happening here i did not uh know that uh, two unlikely uh, artists could uh, meld so well on a new EP of tracks, I'll say that. All right, uh, also enjoying uh, this new one over here from Faye Webster, After the First Kiss, which is a very kind of low-key, lovey-dovey, serene little ballad that I'm loving the lyrics in. I feel like I was not really that into many of the quirkier bits on Faye's latest LP, but, but, but I'm really loving this single though. This is quite the enchanting uh, little love song that's uh, going on here. And again, lyrics, vocals, instrumentation, it's all just, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty to, uh, uh, to the nines. All right, moving on from there. Uh, we also have a very interesting, enchanting uh, cover from the one and the only uh, Miss Ethel Kane, who was uh, actually doing uh, some American football over here, miraculously, but doing it in like a, a bit of a um, like a slow core fashion. Uh, it's uh, the song for sure. And uh, yeah, it's a very kind of uh, it, immersive and um, beautiful little little rendition of uh, of the song. You really uh, could uh, uh, soak in this one. I'll say that. Uh, but yeah, you know, really excited to uh, uh, to see Ethel continue to switch it up artistically and uh, take some risks and, um, you know, just to uh, uh, wear some of her uh, influences on her sleeve here uh, in such a creative way. All right, moving on from there, Baby No Money has given us a, a, a track that I, I feel like formula wise is very similar to his last single. So it's, it's kind of like a, you know, a one, two punch, which I, I suppose is fitting considering this track is titled two. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just very quirky, funny, tongue in cheek jammer with a dance beat and a lot of silly lyrics and a lot of, uh, you know, just a, a, a reserved but zany vibes. I'll say that. Uh, Baby No Money continues to uh, uh, kill it with some of these uh, new tongue-in-cheek bops. And uh, finally, shout out to Ali X, who has come through with a, a really dramatic, wonderful kind of new wave era synth pop throwback anthem, uh, Bon Voyage, with uh, you know some great lyrics, high drama on the vocals great synthy, you know, kind of vintage new wave production. Uh, it's very uh, well put together, very aesthetic. And, uh, you know, I'll say that. All right. Uh, that was your weekly track roundup. Hopefully you got some good solid recommendations out of this video. You're the best. 
Love you. Thanks for watching. Uh, over here next to my head is another video you could check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano Weekly Tracks forever.